Hello Capricorn! Welcome to your today's energies. First of all, I'd like to welcome back my clients and my subscribers. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. Again, there is a lot of energies that are coming through these cards. Now, I only work with the highest vibration of love and light possible from the divine. Okay, and this is the message that is coming through. You're very lovable with the King of Water. The King of Water is all about emotions. It's the King of Cups. And I'm using the beautiful Good Tarot deck. Okay, I'm also using the Angel Tarot and Angel Answers for this reading. Again, the King of Water is the King of Cups. All about emotions, feelings, love. When they love, they love very deeply. They're wholehearted. They're very genuine. They're very real. Again, when they fall in love, they fall so ever deeply in love. However, there's been a lot of backstabbing that has been going on. Someone has not been telling you the truth with the Five of Air. The Five of Air is the Five of Swords. This is lying. It is unbridled ambition, winning at all costs with sneakiness. They're not being themselves. They're pretending to be somebody that they're not. They have no good intentions whatsoever. They don't care how you feel or what you're going through. All they care about is themselves. What's in it for them? What can they gain from the situation? What can they have? It's all they care about. You also have the seven of air. Again, it's all pertaining to deceit, lying, manipulation, deceptiveness. So much trickery out there. They're going to so many costs that they're sneaking around. They're strategizing you. They're pretending to be somebody that they're not. And they're turning your life upside down at the same time. With no whims, no worries. And no fears. They don't care. They're in it for themselves. Their own self-gain. They'll stop at nothing. As long as they come out on top. It's sad. It's very, very sad. Because of it, you have the eight of air. You're very restricted. Again, you have a lot of air signs that are coming in. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Okay? Or even an Earth sign, because an Earth sign is showing up. Again, the Eight of Air is the Eight of Swords. You feel held back. You feel like you can't be yourself. You feel all shunned down and closed off because of all the heartache and pain and sorrow and suffering they've been going through. You've been lied and cheated to. You've had so much turbulence. It's like a roller coaster going up and down and all around. So you're held back. You have a lot of fears. You have a lot of uncertainty. You have a lot of self-doubt. You give everything that you had in this relationship with the Nine of Air. The Nine of Air is carrying everything on your shoulders. Everything. You're tossing, you're turning, you're not sleeping properly, you're not eating properly. Everything is up in arms. You're wondering what's going to happen. Where is it going to go? Is it going to work out? Is the person going to come back? Why is the person doing this to me? Why are they putting me through hell and back? So you're not sleeping. You're not eating. You're tossing and turning with a lot of anxiety and a lot of mixed emotions. Of what you should do. You have the tower. Endings. Completion. Built on false beliefs, false hopes, false dreams, false promises. Come crashing down. The tower is not on a structured foundation. So it ruptures and it comes crumbling down. However, 
If the both of you come clean and you can get to the truth of the situation, and the person comes clean and tells you, yes, I've been deceptive, I've lied to you, I've strategized you, which we know will not happen because they just won't do it. Then, if they did, the tower could go back up. Just because you have the tower doesn't mean that everything is lost and forgotten and, hey, you know what, it's time to move on. Let's pack a bag, let's go. There is work to be done. You can save this. Know this. People fight all the time. A lot of people lie all the time. There's deceit, there's heartache, there's pain, there's sorrow. There's everything out there. It's not a perfect world. So we go through all this turbulence. Again, if you both come clean and you both start over and make a to-do list of what you need to do, how you need to communicate, what you need to get through, what was the deception about, why the lighting, why the cheating, why the trickery, why the strategizing. You can get to the root of the issue if they're willing and ready. And if they're not, then leave the tower. Walk away. Your cards are indicating that you are going to walk away because of all the pain, the heartache, the sorrow, being drawn out, being taken advantage of, being tricked and treated, being a doormat and being walked on. Because you can't. You can't do it anymore. You're emotionally and physically exhausted. That's why you're not sleeping and you're not eating properly. have the highest priestess. Because of everything that is going on, you're going to have a hard time connecting with anybody emotionally. Because your heart's been savaged. It's been beaten. You can't connect emotionally, but you can connect physically. Physically, things take our pain away. For a while but then everything comes back once everything is done and over it's on emotional level and you're having a very hard time and you will have a hard time connecting with the person that is coming back into your life because there is you have a lot of great things that are coming in for you You can carry the High Priestess around in your pocket and let her energy rub off on you. You carry it for a week or so and the energy will bring forth all the emotional connections that you need to make. You already have a lot of intuition deep inside you. It's that gut-wrenching feeling in the pit of your stomach where you just know. You don't question it. You don't second-guess it. You don't doubt it because you feel it. You feel it from your whole body, from your toes to your head. You just know it. It's a pulse sensation. You're in tune to your intuition. Pay attention to it. And you'll be fine. You will be able to connect. Again, you have a lot of things that are going on. You have the seven of earth. There's a lot of blockages and there's delays that's happening around you. Because of all the trauma that you're going through with your relationship, the ending of the relationship, the deceit, everything. So there's obviously blockages and delays. You're going to be able to cut through them. You're going to be able to clear all of the delays and make the choices and the decisions that you need to make to go forward in your life. And you will. 
You just have to be patient and know in time everything is going to work out in your favor. I know nobody likes to be patient. No one likes to be told. Well, you have to be patient. It's going to happen, but it is. Your blockages and your delays are going to be cleared. Your delays are because you're walking away from a relationship. A relationship is ending. So things are at a standstill right now. You're not going forward. You're not moving side to side. You're thinking. You're making choices. You're making decisions of what you need to do. And the blockages and the delays are going to be lifted. You have the star card. The star is a beautiful, beautiful card. It's a gorgeous woman underneath the moonlight, and she's basking in the moon under the stars. And she's shining brightly. You're going to be shining. Love is coming in your direction. It's a new beginning. You're going to release all your restrictions, your fears, your doubts, your worries. You're going to let them go. You're going to make way for great things that are coming right back into your life. There's hope, there's healing, there's optimism, there's beautiful things that are here with the star. The star is one of the gorgeous cards. Everything is happening. And it means that you're going to be renewed. And you're going to have encouragement. You're starting to recognize that hope is coming through with brand new beginnings for you. Because it is. You have beautiful beginnings that are coming in. Where there is no lying. No one's in it for their own self-gain, their own self-worth. They won't cheat. They won't steal. They won't pretend to be somebody that they won't. Somebody that will fulfill you for who you are. For your soul and everything that you represent. Again, you have the aid of water. Again, this is abandoning a path. This is moving on. This is transitioning. This is leaving everything behind. All the chaos, all the deceit, all the betrayal, all the lies. And you're moving forward in a new direction of where you want to go, where you want to be, whom you want to be with. You've pictured it in your mind of having a soulmate with you. And you want to get to that destination. So you're clearing the way and you're making the choices and the decisions so it can happen. You have the moon. The moon is a great card to have. Okay. The moon is about uncertainty. It's about illusions, wondering how bad things are going to be. But the moon wants you to dig deep within yourself. Dig really deep within yourself and find out what it is that you truly need, opposed to what it is that you want. What you want is going to lead you to pain, heartache, sorrow, and suffering because you want it so bad. But when you dig deep within your soul and your, and your heart, that's when you're going to be led out of the darkness and into the light. And things are going to happen for you very quickly. Because you're going by what your heart needs. What you need to be completely fulfilled in every sense of the word. Not what you want what you need. Think about it. Just stop and think. What is it that you truly, truly need to be completely fulfilled and contented in every sense of the word? And you'll have the answer. It already lies deep within inside you. And then that's when things are going to start happening and turning around and greater things are going to come into your life very quickly. Again, it's going to lead you out of the darkness and into the light. And beautiful light is going to shine down upon you.
You have the two of air. You're at a stalemate. You're at a crossroads. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I make it work? Should I not make it work? What should I do? You're sitting on the fence, wondering, do I go right? Do I go left? Take your time. Don't make a rash decision, but you have to make a decision on what it is that you're going to do eventually. But take your time. No, deep within your heart. Again, you have that intuition. No, deep in your heart with the highest priestess. What it is that you want. Only you can go for it. I can't make you. There's free will and free choice. I can't tell you. Yes, you're going to make the choice and you're going to go move, move forward and you're going to end up with this person and so on and so forth. I can tell you what is coming in for you, but I can't make you do it. My advice is to make the choice. You've been through hell and back. You don't need it anymore. You need to move forward with clarity, with assurance, with guidance and wisdom and strength that you're going to get. You have, you have beautiful cards that are coming through after all of that chaos. You have the page of water, which is the page of cups. Love is coming your way. A brand new relationship. Enjoy the lighter side of life. Let your imagination run free. Engulf it. Embrace it. Really see yourself with a true blue soulmate that you're destined and fated to be with. And really see yourself. Close your eyes and envision it in your mind. And it will take you to places that you never dreamt possible. Embrace the person. Love the person. Make love to the person in your mind. And before you know it, it's going to manifest and it's going to happen for you. It's a reality. It's real. Love is coming. Pay attention. You have beautiful cards. The Wheel of Fortune has shown up twice. Once with the good tarot and the angel tarot. The Wheel of Fortune is the cosmic matchmaker card in the tarot. It is fate and destiny that is bringing the two of you together. I see that it is a earth sign. Okay, so it's either a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. It could be a wand uh, because there's um, fire in your cards as well. Again, it could be an air or water because you have all of the energies that are coming through. They're really coming through today. Again, the Wheel of Fortune is the cosmic matchmaker card of the tarot. You're fated and destined to be together. It is fate and destiny that is at play in your life, making all these choices and making the two of you come together. Again, your soulmates. It is the inevitable. It's going to happen regardless if you want it to or not. Again, there's going to be a lot of sharing, giving, and receiving in this relationship with the Six of Coins, which is the Six of Earth. Sharing, giving, receiving, not feeling low, not being a doormat so somebody can walk on you. Someone that's going to love you for who you are, for your soul and everything that you represent, inside and out, 50-50 down the board. Sharing, giving, and receiving with each other. You have the Night of Fire. Again, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Again, it's very quick, very fast pace. It's the Knight of Wands. It's coming in. You could have got a text message. You could have been given an email. 
very fast pace, told it's over, leave, whatever. Time is of the essence. You know things are crumbling around you and that it needs your undivided attention. You need balance. You need to have balance and moderation. You have beautiful Archangel Zedekiah to give you balance and moderation. It's all about temperance. She's very angelic, very loving. She's coming in with deep healing powers to heal and nurture you, to heal your heart, heal your soul. She's going to be around you as long as you need her or him. All you have to do is ask your angel to come forward and bam, they'll be right there by your side. Always remember to thank your angels as it's very important. You have a little bit of an ego problem, but it's more about a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material items, and you have a lot of negative and fear-based thoughts. And you, you have every right. Your whole life has been thrown up into chaos and an upheaval. So, yes, you have every right to feel like this. But know that everything is coming for you in a better way. You have better things that are coming. Where there's no lying, no betrayal, no deceit, no stealing, no nothing. That it's genuine, that it's real, that it's full a vibrant energy, light energy, where you're not focused on negative and fear-based thoughts. That's all the restrictions. Because of what the person put on you and put you through, you're going to continually have those. When someone puts you down enough, you start to believe them. It doesn't make them that, it doesn't make them that they're true because they're not. They are not true. It's their own self that they're putting down and they're trying to lay it on you. So you feel like the bad one because of their guilt, their hatred, their resentment. You're going to be able to get through this. You can have a lot of strength. Again, the Queen of Air, you have a decision to make, objective, decision-making, clearing energy that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in the situation. I know it's not funny. Someone breaking your heart, lying and cheating and manipulating you. No, it's not funny at all. But you have great strength. You're going to make the choice to move forward in the direction that you're divinely guided to take. You're going to clear away everything that no longer serves you, serves a purpose for you. You're going to tell the person to go, leave, and you're going to move on to better things. Again, you have somebody that is coming into your life. It could be an air sign. It could be a fire sign. It could be a cup sign or an earth sign. There are so many energies in your cards. Again, you have the queen of water. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. Again, very loving, very loyal. When you love, you love deeply. You're all about emotions, Loving, being patient, being considerate, being kind, being tenderness, tender-hearted, empathetic. Again, this is when the person is coming into your life. Okay, it, it does represent cup. So I'm going to say summer. We're in spring right now. Summer's right around the corner. Thank goodness. So great things are coming in for you. You're going to have everything that you want, need, desire, and dream of. You have the Ten of Earth with this person. A very happy financial life, a very happy family life, security, finding magic in the little things in life. 
So all your dreams, desires, wants, needs are going to become a reality. You're going to enjoy life again. You're going to live life again. You're going to be vibrant. You're going to be glowing. You're not going to be weighed down with all the shit that you went through before or that you have gone through. You're going to be different. You're going to have a sense of humor again. You're going to be out, able to laugh. You're going to be in a needed relationship that someone is going to love you for who you are. Not for what you can do or be cheated on or be deceptive. No, for who you truly are. And it's coming for you. You have the Four of Fire, which is the Four of Wands. Again, it can be a wand, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this definitely, I know, represents with a lot of people. It resonates with a lot of people because of the energies that are coming through. Again, you have the Four of Wands. It's the marriage card. This is commitment. This is either living with, common law, an engagement, but a very committed union between the two of you. Committed, contented love, emotional, physical, mental, spiritual fulfillment, stability, holidays, marriage plans. All your dreams are going to come true. You have beautiful cards after all the turmoil that you're going to get through. You have beautiful Ask Angel cards. I pulled two. I wanted to know. And here we go. It is up to you. Again, it is all pertaining to you being the two of air. Being the stalemate at the crossroad. It's up to you. What you decide to do. In other words, the ball is in your court. Either you stay and go on to better and bigger things, to greatness, to completion, to happiness, harmony, joy, positiveness, or you stay. You're ready. You are definitely ready to make the choice. You're ready to move forward. And you have great guidance. These are divination cards. They're from the divine. You're ready to move forward and take that leap. Because you're destined for greater and better things. You deserve to be loved for who you are, who you represent. To have your soul and everything with it. For you to have their soul and everything with it as well. And it's coming in. I hope you enjoyed the Daily Vibe reading. Again, hopefully it resonates with everybody. I know it's going to resonate with a lot of people. I do Daily Vibes every day. This is the first one. And the next one will be uploaded for you for tomorrow, plus Twin Flames, so on and so forth. Again, I wish you all the, the happiness and love. Know that things are definitely going to work out for you. You do have a lot of turbulence to go through. But do know that your soulmate, your genuine soulmate, is coming in to love you, to nurture you, to take care of you, to help you with your struggles in every sense of the word. Much love and light and many blessings to each and every one of you. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.